Welcome back to Scrummy. Today we're making red velvet cupcakes. Red velvet comes from the United States and has become very popular around the world. These cupcakes are flavoured with cocoa powder, coloured red and decorated with delicious cream cheese frosting. I'm sharing with you my favourite recipe and I really hope you like it. Let's make red velvet cupcakes. We're going to start with the dry ingredients. Place plain flour, cocoa powder, baking powder and bicarbonate of soda in a bowl and whisk together until everything is mixed in. You can also use self-raising flour but leave out the baking powder. Set to one side while we cream together the butter and sugar. Place room temperature butter and sugar in a medium sized bowl. Mix for a few minutes until you have a nice soft and fluffy mixture. Some people do ask me what butter I use. Well I use whatever I have in the fridge at the time so either salted or unsalted. Now it's time to add the red food colouring. This one I'm using is Extra Red by Sugar Flare and I love it as you only need to use a little to get a nice vibrant red colour. You don't want to use a red food colouring where you have to put a lot in to get that nice red colour in the mixture. Add the vanilla extract. I find this helps to bring out the flavour in the other ingredients. Mix again until all the mixture is completely red. Just look at that colour. I'm adding one egg and two tablespoons of the dry ingredients. Mix until fully combined. Now add the second egg and another two tablespoons of the flour mixture and mix again. I know what you're thinking, there's a lot of whisking involved in making these cupcakes, but it's really, really important to take your time making them. And if you do, you'll be delighted with your results. The remaining flour can now be added. Give it all a good mix until the flour is fully combined. Time to add the buttermilk and the vinegar. I love to see buttermilk in a cake as you get a really nice soft and fluffy cake due to the acid softening the gluten in the flour. One last whisk and a red velvet mixture will be done. That looks perfect and it's a lovely shade of red. Once the cupcakes bake they will darken in colour. Use a big spoon or an ice cream scoop and fill the cupcake cases to about two thirds of the way full. Don't overfill because these cupcakes are so tender that they won't hold their shape while baking. These cupcakes are ready for the oven. Bake at 170 degrees Celsius, 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Let's make the cream cheese frosting. Whisk room temperature butter until it's nice and soft. This should take about one to two minutes. The butter doesn't need to be whipped until it turns white as you do when making buttercream. When you're happy with the butter, add half the sieved icing sugar and mix it in completely. Add the remaining icing sugar and mix again. Adding the icing sugar in two stages makes it easier to whip into the butter. Lots of people have problems with the consistency of their cream cheese frosting, but if you follow this recipe, you will have a lovely thick frosting. When the icing sugar is mixed in, add the vanilla extract, and we need to mix for a little longer now, about five minutes. Finally, add the cream cheese and make sure to use full fat cream cheese in this. Fold it in gently and take your time and it will come together. I find by folding it in, you get a lovely thick cream cheese frosting. Place it in the fridge until you're ready to use. My favorite part, let's do some decorating. Look at these beautiful cupcakes, they look fantastic. Allow to cool completely before decorating. To decorate, spoon the cream cheese frosting on top or pipe a lovely swirl. The tip I'm using is a 1M, but you can use whatever one you have. To finish off, sprinkle some red velvet crumbs on top. If you're stuck for crumbs, remove the centre from one of the cupcakes and crumble it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next week for another scrummy video. Happy baking everyone! Mm.